Bowman here from BW1, and in this video, I'm gonna give you all the info that you need to know about the PS4 Pro. Just announced today, the brand new PS4 Pro is the 4K gaming and content monster that Sony has released out. It's gonna be coming in November, releasing on November 10th. It's gonna be at a $399 price point. So let's break down everything you need to know about what this bad boy has to offer. Starting off with the sort of design and look and aesthetics of the PS4 Pro. If you look at it, it's um, pretty much like a PS4 and they just add a sort of an extra layer here. So it goes from sort of a two stack layer to a three stack layer it looks like here so they made a sort of a little bit of a tweak to tweak to that they've also tweaked the DualShock controller as well too so there's a little LED on top of it so uh, right right above the uh, trackpad there so they've tweaked a little, few little things here but other than that it pretty much looks like how you would think a PS4 would look like just a little bit beefier now the reason for that beef is the bumped up specs that are inside the PS4 Pro to support this 4K gaming, streaming, HDR content, and VR gaming as well too. Now it comes with an AMD Jaguar 8-core processor. They've increased the teraflops on the GPU. It's 4.2 teraflops now. You have eight gigabytes of GDDR5 memory inside of it. And you also have one terabyte of storage as well too. You also have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi as well. For ports, the PS4 Pro comes with three USB 3.1 ports. You also get optical audio, HDMI, and an ethernet port as well. And you can also see there's a power port there as well too because the power supply is internal just like the original PS4. But one thing that's interestingly missing from here is that it just has a standard Blu-ray drive. It does not come with an ultra Blu-ray drive that you find in the Xbox One S. So that's gonna limit how much or basically the highest quality that you can possibly get with 4K HDR content. They usually come some ultra Blu-ray, so you're not gonna be able to do that here. That content's gonna come basically via streaming apps and services. They did announce Netflix is gonna have a new app for it that's gonna support 4K HDR. One of the uh, exclusive shows that are gonna be able to support that is the new Luke Cage show that's coming out, so you're gonna be able to watch that 4K HDR. But it's basically limited to streaming, which I find kind of odd, considering that a, you, you know your competition kind of has the Ultra Blu-ray and kind of giving you the full spectrum of HDR and 4K, and you've kind of limited here on Sony, especially for the price point. I find it a little awkward here that they kind of left that out. Now, as far as gaming is concerned, there are gonna be a ton of games that are gonna come out of the box supporting 4K HDR gaming. That's gonna be games like FIFA 17, Battlefield 1, Mass Effect Andromeda. You also have games like the new Spider-Man game coming, Watch Dogs 2, Horizon Zero Dawn, Deus Ex Mankind, divided there's a ton of games going to be taken advantage of and it's also going to be a catalog of games from that are already out now they're going to be getting patches and what sony's calling forward compatibility that's going to give you the ability to take advantage of ps4's improved specs and improve the looks of those games as well too so they're really encompassing everything in here and making sure if you decide to upgrade it's going to be a real true upgrade and your old games aren't going to get left behind that you've just bought on your regular ps4 Pretty cool there, have to give Sony a thumbs up for that. And it's going to play VR games a whole lot better as well too. If you get a regular PS4, you're gonna play the VR games with PSVR, but it's gonna play a lot better on the PS4 Pro. You're gonna get a much better experience if you use it with that, obviously with the much more improved specs. Now taking a look at some of the accessories that you get with the PS4, Pro when you decide to buy one, looks like you get yourself an HDMI cable, USB cable, you have your power cord because the power brick is still built inside the PS4, which will make a lot of people happy, of course. Looks like you also have a, uh, a headphone jack as well too for like a little in-ear piece to listen to some audio as well too. But overall, you pretty much a standard package plus one controls you're gonna get with it. So that is the PS4 Pro. It's interesting, I th at a $399 price point and not including Ultra Blu-ray, it's gonna make people question there a little bit. But as far as the gaming aspects are concerned, the fact that they're the first console to market with 4K HDR gaming that's capable and ahead of the competition right now, is definitely a big plus for them. And I can see a lot of people, that especially are hardcore gamers, and want that better looking game they're definitely gonna wanna probably upgrade to a PS4 Pro. But let me know in the comment below, let me know what you guys think. Is this enough? Do you, do you think the PS4 Pro went in the right direction? Do you think they should have added something else? Do you think it should have held off, especially with Project Scorpio coming up down the line real soon and maybe what Xbox is gonna offer? We're not even sure what 
the NX, the codename NX of Nintendo is going to be coming with. So, guys, let me know what you think. If you're going to pick one up, post the comments below. And also be sure, if you like this video, to give it a thumbs up, share it. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube page here. And always remember to live your tech world in high definition. Thanks for watching.